So super high bend APR gas for biogas CNG production. So previously we have seen for the forage production. Now we have to look the biogas or CNG production. So it is new things. So you, you can see here the Thailand grass collection and silage preparation. So here the cultivation, then B, uh, transportation of the grasses, then after third grass cutting machine. So you have to cut the grasses. And in a small article of grasses, we have to feed in a digest pump. So you know that uh, I have tested the how much uh, CNG or biogas produced from the 100 kg green powder of the super hybrid Napier. So we have taken 200 kg super hybrid Napier grass from Anand to Biofisk of Private Limited Surat and we have tested for 45 days and we observed that from 100 kg we are getting the 6 kg biogas. So you can see the so the process of producing biogas from Napier gas involves several steps. So we have taken the several steps. So now you know that Napier grass is a good energy source. So Napier grass is the latest energy crop being promoted by government, the Ministry of Energy, Department of Alternative Energy Development and Efficiency has run project promoting biogas production from Napier gas for the purpose of generating electricity, cooking gas, and biogas for vehicles. So in Thailand, they, they are producing the biogas or CNG from the super hybrid Napier and they produce the biogas. They are also generating electric gassing. It is also used for cooking gas and uh, it is used for the vehicle purpose. So I, again, I have given. Then the Napier gas is a good energy source. The main purpose of this study was to produce biogas yield from Napier grass. So, the main objective of this study was to examine effect of microbial pretreatment. So we have given two treatments. Effect of microbial pretreatment with different reaction times. 24 hour pretreatment result. The suitable method is selected for scale up study and future application. Then another method is effect of alkali pretreatment, uh, sodium hydroxide, one person with the different reaction time, 24 hours. So both the method time remains same. So pre-treatment result, the suitable method is selected for scale of study and future application. So result and conclusion to study conducted by FX Surat. In the first study, 50 kilogram of raw material was processed using microbial treatment to yield four metric cube of biogas just seven days. The biogas produced from this sample a methane concentration of 62.3% and negligible level of hydrogen sulfide. You know that when you produce the gas from the biogas then it contains three gases. One is methane which is used for the biogas, then another carbon dioxide and third one is hydrogen sulfide. So in the second case 80 kg of raw material we have taken and we have given the treatment of one person. So you can see the result. So from 50 kg we are getting the 6 kg on the basis of the methane 62.3%. So 6 kg biogas from 100 kg green powder of hibernated gas. So efficiency 3.42. Whereas in a mechanical treatment or chemical treatment of 1% sodium hydroxide, then slightly a 6.5 kg biogas from 100 kg green powder. But you know that chemical method is a tedious method. So microbial treatment is better and it is eco-friendly. So result and conclusion, from both the study we can conclude that microbial treatment and chemical treatment were required to obtain a higher yield of biogas from Napier gas. The results of the investigation indicated that both the provide completely similar yield and microbial treatment was more cost effective and easier than chemical treatment. Study conducted at Biofix Private Limited Surat, Gujarat, India. We can still increase more biogas production 6 to 8 percent if properly maintain the harvesting period time of hybrid Napier gas and also management practices of hybrid Napier gas also influence the biogas production. You know that uh, I have put up the YouTube of the biogas from the super hybrid Napier gas before uh, six to eight months. So I got uh, about uh, more than 30 inquiry from the farmers. 
so you know that uh, suppose you want to start the 3 ton biogas per day then you have to grow hybrid apia super hybrid apia grass in 50 150 acre land so you know that uh, you have to feed 50 ton green fodder of chopping of super hybrid apiar every day in digester. So I have calculated that if you want to run the biogas plant for 300 days, that is 10 months, then you have to grow the super hybrid napier grass in 150 acre land. Another thing I have contacted with the Thailand also online. So you know that uh, the hybrid napier crop is a tropical crops. So during the winter season, particularly December and January, the production is low. So you know that uh, for that we have the solution, you should have to grow the maize crop. Suppose you have 100 acre land, then you planted 80 acre hybrid apiar, super hybrid apiar and 20 acre maize crop. So when there is a low crop production of the super hybrid apiar, then you can fulfill from the maize. So maize also used for the biogas production. So I have interact with the Thailand online. So they have replied me. So for contact person I have given. So my name is Dr. P.C. Patel, Chief Soil Health Specialist, Mati Mati Agromat Private Bhani So those who have the problem of the soil fertile evolution for hybrid grass plant for technical advice, then you can contact me. And my address is uh, it is email and my mobile number is 9909022116. So my resident is Anand Gujarat. For installation of biogas generation plant for hybrid APR grass with different capacity and technical advisor in biogas, Mr. Vikas Misra, Director, Biofix Private Limited, Surat, Gujarat, India. So their office is Surat and his mobile number is 9879844576. So I, there is a more than a, I think that five to seven YouTube related to biogas then uh, for the year round green forest production of the hybrid napier or other grasses then you can contact and uh, if you like my YouTube then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much and uh, if you have any query then you can ask me.